Hi, I'm Jed with GoLEDLight.com. Today, what we're going to show you is how to use the pantry switch. Here's how it works. When your door is shut, the light goes out, which pushes in the tab. When you open your door, the tab comes out and releases, which turns on your light. You can use it on a pantry such as this one, which is a basic cabinet pantry, or if you have a broom closet, or a coat closet, or even your walk-in closet, like this one, you can use it here as well. But today, our project is going to be to light up this particular pantry. So let's get started. Here are the components that you'll need to do this project. You'll need a low voltage door switch. On this low voltage door switch, You'll notice it has these two uh, clamps on the back which press on. Those pull off. That way you can put your wire in the back and clamp them down and uh, then you can push them back on to the back. We'll show you further as we go through this project. You also need a power supply. On each power supply they have a barrel connector which releases. Your low voltage wire goes in here and you'll screw down these two screws to tighten down on the wires. Then it will plug back on. So you'll need a low voltage power supply. You also need uh, some low voltage or bell wire. What we're going to use is a combination of a, an aluminum extrusion and a radiance light strip. This one we already pre-assembled. Pre you also need a piece of wood. Uh, this is where your actual switch is going to mount into. And then this block will mount inside the cabinet to hold the uh, switch in the right location. So those are the basic uh, components. So now we'll show you how to install these. Okay, so here's one of the first things that you're going to want to do uh, when you start your project. You're going to want to find out where you're going to draw your power from. In other words, where are you going to plug in your power supply? In this case, uh, since the pantry is next to the refrigerator, and uh, behind that refrigerator we know there's uh, an outlet, and it's concealed. That's what we want to do. We won't want any wire showing or hanging out at the side of the cabinet. Uh, it looks junky. So we want to keep everything concealed so we know there's power behind here, so that's where we're going to draw ours at. What we already did, or we didn't show you, is we went ahead and pre-drilled a hole in the back of the cabinet. That's where we're going to put our low voltage wire. The low voltage wire will then hook into the barrel connector. So that's what we're going to do next. So now that we have our wire ran, we have our outlet already plugged in where the refrigerator's at, wire went into that barrel connector. So now the next step is uh, to take our block. I drilled a 3 quarter or 19 millimeter hole in there. That's what you're going to need to drill for this particular pantry switch. We're going to mount our block right about there in the corner of the cabinet, that way it's out of the way of everything else. We're going to use two screws and we're going to screw down through the top of here to hold this block in place. Okay, so now the next thing is to uh, install our pantry switch. Make sure you take the wire and push it through. You don't want to hook it up here and then now your wire is all funky. So make sure you push it through the hole. We're going to take our aluminum extrusion with our radiance light uh, 
Both of these products you can buy uh, on the website as well. Again, goledlight.com. So we're going to install this next. This also will need to be passed through this little hole. We used a 3M double-sided tape. You can also buy clips um, to screw into the top of the cabinet and then clip this in. But we're going to do it this way. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is install the pantry switch. What you want to make sure that you do is take your wires, the one coming from the light, push it through that hole, your power, you want to push that through that same hole. The pantry switch comes pre-wired. So all that you have to do Okay, we'll zoom in here. So now what we're going to do is wire this uh, pantry switch in. So what you're going to want to do is take your wire that's coming from your power supply. The black wire is going to tie in to the red wire on the pantry switch. So you can spin those two together. Then the black wire coming from your light strip is going from the black wire from the pantry switch to the light, the black wire coming off the light, those two tie together. And then your red wire coming from the light will tie in to the red wire coming from the power supply. So all those tie in just like that. And now when you take your switch and let's say you're shutting your door, shuts the light up. When it comes on, or when the door opens, the light comes on. That easy. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and push you back in here. Now that the project's complete, let's take a look inside. I would say that's pretty impressive. Here's something pretty neat as well. Notice as I open up this drawer, you're going to see the light continue to shed over the entire drawer. You can even see down to the smallest spikes. Here's something else that's pretty impressive. All the way down to the bottom drawer, it sheds the same amount of light. If you're looking to do this project, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need three things. One is the small Radiance Light Kit. This includes Radiance Light which is about 48 inches long, a power supply, and connectors. You also need the low voltage door switch and an aluminum extrusion. This particular one is the GAP001 with the end caps. This complete project will run you right around $103. Again, my name is Jed and this has been GoLEDLight.com.